Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And today what I'm going to do is I've got my nail varnishes out and I want to actually see if I can use nail varnishes directly onto a mould. Now, this is a really old silicon mould. It is my tester mould. It is a little bit dull, so I'm not worried about that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dob a load of colours on it, let it dry and then pour resin in it and see what happens. If it does stick to a mould, then it has quite good implications for lots of other things. So without further ado, let's get on. Now, as I said, I'm not going to be too precious here on what I'm going to be doing. I am literally, it's going to be quite an abstracty thing. I am just going to be painting on this. I've made sure that there's no mould release on this because I thought that that may prevent the resin and the nail varnish being picked up because normally I do have mould release but I'm not worried if, I, if in the end I have to chuck this one away because ultimately it is my disposable mould and when I say disposable I mean it's the one that I use all the time for experimenting on and so far it is kind of working out quite well so I'm doing something that's quite abstract here Nothing really in mind. I'll carry on and finish this off and get lots of different nail varnishes on here and then we'll come back ready for the pour. So this is now dried on here and I'm quite happy with that. I think it's quite pretty. I'm actually really hoping that this comes out because if it does, it's going to open up quite a lot of possibilities for other different things using nail varnish and moulds. So I've mixed up my resin. Now I haven't mixed it up too carefully and there is quite a few bubbles in it, but I'm not too worried about that because this is an experiment. Don't forget, if you like my experiments, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more. And I also do a lot of beginners and helpful projects as well. Please hit that like button. And I also have a members only area as well. You can join that. It's really, really good value for money. A lot of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers and additional information, plus a VIP Facebook group where just members can engage with other people. All you need to do to join that is click the little join button next to the subscribe button. Or use the link that's in the description. That will take you straight to it if you'd like to join. By clicking the join, you're under no obligation. It just tells you all about it. So let's get on with pouring this. I've got enough resin in there now. Some of those bubbles will come up. I will use a long necked lighter on it rather than a torch because I don't want to damage this mould any further than what it is already damaged. And we'll come back to this and see how well it's worked. This has cured nicely, and as you can see, it's virtually bubble free, which is great. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we will see. Oh my god, it has worked! Look at that! I'm so impressed. And it doesn't smell a bit of nail varnish, which is great. Oh, I love that. I love how that's come out. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think that's come out really well. I do think that gives it another dimension. I really didn't think that was going to work, but surprisingly it has. That means I'm not going to have a load of nail varnish left over because I will be using it and I'm going to be using it with some finer brushes to ensure that I get more details and things in it. Oh, it's lovely and smooth. I really like that. I am planning to do some live streams for some Q&As and watch me do a project. First one I'm going to do is for members only and then I'm going to do one for everybody. And that's probably how I'm going to sync it. And check out the video that's coming up next. It was a great experiment. Bye.